at the bottom of the estate where I live there's a bit of a green patch. I often take my dogs for a walk uh, down this section and if I want to take them a little bit farther then I'll just have to cross this little stream and take the footpath which leads under the uh, Kettering Northern Bypass. Once you've made your way through the subway you find yourself in this parkland come nature reserve as you can see surrounded by the busy Northern Bypass and on the other side the main London St Pancras railway line. This whole area used to be just dead scrubland uh, but it was converted to this parkland come nature reserve by the company that built this huge Prologis Park. So there are mode areas where you can sit and have a picnic if you uh, if you want to. And there's also a cinder path which you can walk on and uh, cycle on. And uh, on the sort of left hand side as you walk in it's more geared towards nature. And they've got these uh, long grassy areas to encourage wildlife and uh, they uh, regularly mow uh, the pathway so you can make your way through lots of uh, long grassy areas with wildflowers and uh, there's also uh, boggier areas uh, which are filled with water in the winter. There's also a little stream that runs through but I've never seen much in that. Also a good selection of wildflowers, rose bay willow herb, great willow herb as well and uh, this is hedge bindweed. There's also a lot of uh, ragwort as well which uh, encourages bees and butterflies and uh, I'm pleased to say we seem to be having a decent summer and uh, the place is teeming with uh, both bees and butterflies. Also uh, ragwort is the favourite food of these creatures, these are cinnabar moth caterpillars. Well these creatures can eat ragwort but it is poisonous to livestock. There's not many birds around this time of year, it's a very quiet time of year for birds, they're away molting and so on. Uh, we've just got a buzzard up in the sky there and uh, there's just the odd uh, blackbird and a couple of uh, distant magpies uh, just flying off there. As I was saying, uh, good selection of uh, various species of bumblebee down here, it's really good to see. And also a good selection of uh, butterflies, so you can see how many I can spot. Uh, these lovely male common blue butterflies here. The females are actually brown on top there, but uh, gorgeous butterfly. Uh, all those different shades of blue and uh, even uh, violet would you describe it as beautiful we've got a female um, brimstone on the teasel there also this uh, sorry looking creature it's um, a female meadow brown I've certainly seen better days also uh, I think this is a large skipper I'm pretty sure it's a large uh, skipper I think it's the first time I've actually uh, had a chance to film one of these. Also lots of uh, large and uh, small white butterflies as well. Or cabbage whites as the gardeners call them, scourge of the gardeners. But by far the most numerous uh, butterfly down here is the peacock. There's literally hundreds uh, of them down here. I can't remember seeing this many in uh, many a long year. So it must really be a good summer for butterflies, which is uh, excellent news. Really nice way to spend a couple of hours.